Lord. Are you heading to the Proving Arena? Gariam, I do not remember addressing this move. No. I was considering it. We have been charged with the task of escorting you to the Proving Grounds. I clean forgot about that. Forgive me, I should have informed you sooner. The King decided you were not to travel through the commons unguarded. What? Why? I'm quite capable of walking safely to the Proving. I did mention the merchants that won permits to show their goods in the Diamond Quarter. There were only so many permits auctioned off, and quite a few were turned away. Your father fears you will be harassed on the way to the Proving. This is silly, but I would comply. I will comply. Are we leaving then? Yes. We are at your command. Very well. Hmm. Was my guard real escort? That's a normal proving master. We will speak to you, my lord. Tell me about your family, Garim. Not much that you don't already know. My father's father was a great hero of the Deep Roads excursions and raised the family to the top of the warrior caste. I see. He was even nominated to join the assembly and found a noble house, but the honor was in the nomination. He wasn't afforded a single vote. My father served your father for many years, and now I serve you. Are you excited about the battle tomorrow? Yes. I yearn to face the dark spawn and prove my worth as your second. We'll be spectacular. May the stones support us, and the ancestors look down with pride. We should get going. As you will. Because I wasn't supposed to be to you anyway. We're proving, Master. Your Highness, it is an honor to have you here. Have you come to watch these brave warriors do battle in your honor? No, I've come to fight. Your Highness. This proving is in your honor. Then honor him by doing as he says. My lord Idugan will fight in this proving. I will honor today's warriors by testing their skills. Of course, it is well within your rights. Men and women of Orzammar, we have a late entry to these provings. Held on the eve of battle for the honor of House Idugan. I give you... The Lord Idukan himself! Are you ready for your first match? Ready, eager, hungry. And let us begin! The only problem is, I don't have a two handed weapon. Caught under the watchful eyes of the paragons of Orzammar for the honor of House Idukan. And that's what I'm specced into. The honor is mine. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Now. Shield bash. Okay, again, I do wish that I actually had a... two-handed weapon, honestly. I would feel a lot better if I did, but it is what it is. Why isn't this on my hotbar like it should be, anyway? Alair Bimo, 
is no slouch with that hammer. Are you ready for your next opponent? Who is my next opponent? A doll helming. A woman, your highness. She's a tenacious fighter. I'll fight anyone. Excellent. Let us go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the paragons of Orzammar. For the honor of House Iduken. Lord Iduken will fight a doll Helmi. Eldest daughter of Lady Helmi. Honor and glory to your house, your highness. And to yours. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! More enemies ahead! Come, let us end this! Eat this! Ugh! <laughs> the winner is Lord Iduken. Of course it is. That was a crowd pleaser. Indeed. Many were waiting to see that woman put in her place. Sir Blackstone is your next opponent. Are you ready to face him? What can you tell me about Sir Blackstone? One of the best of the warrior cast. He achieved glory in close combat assault in the Deep Road. I'm ready to and fight. Let us begin. Indeed. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the paragons of Orzammar. For the honor of House Iduken. Lord Iduken will fight Sir Blackstone. Deep Road squad leader of the warrior cast. This is your education, child. Try to learn as you bleed. Good luck to you. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! As you say. She'll bash! Ha ha ha! Pay attention, old man. Maybe you'll learn something from a young sprite such as myself. You'll learn that in your old age you have grown slow and weak. What a fine battle it is. Great fight, my the friend. Is Lord Talking down to me, huh. Very well. We shall save. I've done quite a bit, of course. Well done. You Thank you. Proved. Even the best of the warrior cast cannot match a noble Iduken. Brandlin Ivo is your final opponent. He too has had many victories today. Are you ready to face him, or will you rest first? What can you tell me about Brandlin Ivo? He is a decorated fighter who prefers unusual weapons and rarely fights with the same techniques twice. House Ivo is relatively inconsequential, but Brandlin may change that. He's expected to take a full command of his own soon. I see. Well, let me fight this Brandlin Evo. This is a glory proving. Fought under the watchful eyes of the paragons of Orzammar. For the honor of House Iduken. of stone and wheels of iron. They have defeated all others this day. Lord Iduken will fight Brandlin Ivo, second son of Lord Ivo. You fight well. I wish you glory today and glory tomorrow. May you be a stone. The warrior to fall is vanquished. The victor is champion. Fight! Let's do this. Shield bash. Haha. <laughs> okay. 
Ooh. Very clever. Take this. You have a very interesting sword, my friend. But victory will be mine this day. Take this! Great fight, my friend. The winner is Lord Idukan. Indeed. Congratulations. Thank you. And Ivo is as fierce a competitor as I've ever seen. You vanquished every warrior of note in today's proving. The ceremonial helm, commissioned by your father for today's winner, is yours. Thank you. I'll wear uh I'll wear it proudly. Your glory honors every warrior here. So, the cool thing is, you actually get a pretty nice helmet, which gives you willpower and a constitution. Um, which doesn't seem that amazing, but it is actually probably one of the best early game helmets in the game you can get. Not only that, um, you can basically... Keep this as a keepsake throughout the rest of the campaign if you really wanted to. It's sort of like a trophy of sorts, which is pretty cool in itself, you know. Much glory was brought to your house tonight. Thank you. Now then, my lord, why don't you take a break? We will take a break when we are done here. For now, we are here to serve. Then let us leave. Your wish is our command. Very good. That was a fantastic battle. Now, let us return to my father in the Grand Hall, of course. Grey Wardens are here. The raid tomorrow must be more than a standard My mission. My Wardens life. only go where the Darkspawn are the greatest threat. Many thanks for your willingness to hear me out, my lord. I wish Welcome. to speak to you of a matter most urgent. Of course, Lord Dace. Uh, there is a vote coming before the assembly next week. And a word from you could go a long way towards helping our cause. What cause? The concerns the status of the so-called surface caste. Lost to the stone, air cutting, and so forth. Centuries ago, narrow-minded men declared that any dwarf who left to live on the surface forfeited his caste and his house at Noble. That he was, in essence, no longer a dwarf. I seek only to remedy an injustice, to retie the bonds of anyone who can trace himself to one of the noble houses wherever he may Please, agree to speak for this noble cause. Why so interested in this particular cause? Those on the surface are our lifeline. They facilitate trade with the surface. They're honorable and... Um, oh, let's be honest. I don't care a whit for those who have wandered from the stone. My wife, however, is a gem of a different color. She has a cousin. Useless sort, but she's quite fond of him. He joined a speculative venture to the surface, hoping to make his fortune, and went bust. Now he wishes to come home, but he cannot, for he has no house and would be castless. Hmm. For my wife's sake, I take up his call. Will you lend me your voice? And what do I get in return? I keep my ears to the stone, my lord. I hear many things, some of which could be a great help during your mission tomorrow. A little forewarning to help your forearming, if you know what I mean. 
You have a deal. What do I do? When your father presents you to the noble houses, I will ask for your opinion on the matter. You have merely to say that you feel our selfish brothers should be returned their noble rights. Or to be more simple. I see. Lady Hemley. You're Lord a fool. Duncan. Watch your tongue, woman. Greetings, my lord Iduka. Greetings. It is an honor to meet you at last. The honor is mine, warden. I have had the opportunity to recently meet with your father. He speaks highly of you. He says you may be the most skilled warrior in all of House Iduka. My father does me great honor. I have no doubt it is deserved. We need more Grey Wardens like you, and quickly. Even as the darkspawn weaken here in Arzamoth, they are stirring on the surface. A blight has begun. Soon the fight must go beyond the deep roads, lest the darkspawn threaten all the world. I wonder if Father would allow me to join you. <laughs> Alas, I do not think he would take kindly to that suggestion. As the child of the king and heir after Lord Trion, your place is here. I do not know as much as I should about the Grey Wardens. You know of our dedication to destroying the Darkspawn, our frontline presence during a blight. What else would you know? Are there many people of are there many of my people in the Grey Wardens? Over the centuries, many dwarves have made names for themselves in our order. These days, however, there are fewer dwarves and thus even fewer dwarven Grey Wardens. A pity, since dwarven warriors have the most experience fighting Darkspawn. What does joining entail? Being a Grey Warden means abandoning all ties to your old life. It means dedicating yourself to destroying the Darkspawn. Could I join the Grey Wardens and still stay in Orzammar? I'm afraid not. Grey Wardens go where they're needed most. Right now, that is on the surface at the ruins of Ostagar, where the human king gathers his armies to face the Blight. I wish I could join you. Then I will speak to your father after tomorrow's battle. I have my doubts he will relent, but there is always hope. Until then, good luck to you. Show the darkspawn what your people are made of. Thank you, Duncan. Now, I could go and continue talking, but I kind of want to see if I can actually wander off to the side here and see if I can find anything useful. Or hidden away, perhaps. Ooh. I shall do it. A dagger. I am at your service, my lord. Cook. Your Highness, what a surprise. I apologize. Can't go in here. All there. Oh well. So much for that idea. I am proud to serve the Iduka. Lady Helmy. Your mother would melt the stone if she knew what you just did. How dare you speak to me that way? Show you are to be respected, and I will no longer speak to you as a child. Lord Dace is playing you false. Go ahead, be his puppet. Your first command will be marked by every major house turning their back on you. If you have something to say, do so. If you are to play in the games of the Assembly, make sure you know the motivations of the players. Last spring, a guild from the Merchant Cast invested heavily in an expedition with a guild from the surface. Lord Dace backed the Merchant Guild, pouring a great deal of money into the venture. The expedition was a disaster. So this is Lord, Lord Dace's play to recover his losses. Clever child. Lord Dace lost a great deal of money and prestige. The Surface Guild has no way to repay the investment, but it does have several leading members who are descended from noble houses. House Helmy, Bimo, I Dukin. If the Surface Dwellers return to their noble houses... You begin to see the whole picture. Your house and mine would be forced to pay the Surfacers kin debts. It would be a great victory for Lord Dace. 
It seems I need to have a talk with Lord Dace. If you call his bluff, then you lose your chance to turn the tables. Let him think he has you. Smile and nod. And when he asks his question, tell him that the so-called surface cast are right where they belong. That should take Lord Dace down a peg or two. Thank you. You're welcome. Remember this when my house needs your assistance. You're both playing me for some kind of benefit here, but I do not like being lied to. So, we will see. My king, please reconsider. The trade contracts alone could bring great prosperity to our houses. Will we really turn our back on our brothers and a potential fortune in cheap labor because of a political technicality? Denial of the traditions of our people does not qualify as a political technicality. There is more to life than monetary gains, my lords Bimo and Mino. The assembly of Kal Sharak will respect the rule of Orzammar, or they will rot and die alone, surrounded by enemies. Yes, my king. But look, we have company to spare us further wrangling. A trust Vala, my son. Thank you, Father. You look in your great grandfather's armor. I hear hmm. you were declared champion of the proving. <laughs> I suppose you were never one to sit by when something exciting was going on. Are you ready to be presented to the heads of the noble houses? Of course, Father. So dutiful. <laughs> Very well. Let us begin. Lords, ladies, grant me a moment of your time. We are here today so I may present to you my second eldest child, blessed by the stone and born of the blood that ran in the veins of the Paragon Idukan. Who would pose a question to the prospective commander? Who seeks to know the prospect better? I have a question. I seek to know the prospect better. Lord Dace, head of House Dace, speak. Lords, ladies. My question concerns the plight of our wayward kin, the so-called surface caste. What does the commander prospect think is the proper place for these lost souls? They should be respected, but no more. Are you satisfied, Lord Dace? Do you feel you have learned something about the prospect? Yes, my king. Then if there are no other challenges, I give you Orzammar's next commander. Tomorrow, our newest commander will lead part of a mission to strike a great blow to the Darkspawn. Not only does this recover access to some of our most important minds, but it also allows our honored guest Duncan, head of Ferelden's Grey Warden, to strike far into the deep roads. Thank you, King Endrin. While the Darkspawn seem to withdraw, it is only because they are massing on the surface. This could mean a blight, and my men and I will discover the truth. We are honored to have you with us, my friend. Now, feast, drink, and celebrate, for the morning brings battle! Hurrah! You, my new commander. Find your brother Trian and send him to me. He may be watching the proving. Or getting some rest in his room. Of course, Father. Walk well, Commander. Thank you. <laughs>